So we all know that the official Switch dock is big, bulky, and unnecessary, but most of all, expensive. In my country, which is Canada, this little dock and its power supply costs $120. And to me, that's absurd. So after buying a secondhand Switch, I decided to buy a used power supply for $10 Canadian, a motherboard that I found on AliExpress for $20 Canadian, and this little shelf from Bass Top for about $13 Canadian. So this came from AliExpress, I bought this on Kijiji, and I bought the shell on Amazon all together for about under $50 Canadian, which is crazy. Now I'm going to show you guys how to assemble the Switch dock the way I did in this video today, so let's get started. Okay, so I've taken the motherboard out of its box, and I found it quite funny that this box actually looks like an old Intel processor box. I guess they're trying to avoid some copyright, and it's got a really weird name. It's Kuv i3 H board, and it says designed for Switch at the top left hand corner. But uh, it, it looks exactly like the original motherboard found in the Nintendo Switch dock, the original one from Nintendo. So if we have a closer look at this motherboard from the AliExpress website that I found it on, uh, it looks exactly like the original Switch motherboard to a T. And what you want to be sure of is to use the official power supply from Nintendo on this motherboard because the Nintendo Switch power supply that comes with the Nintendo Switch dock seems to have some kind of proprietary software or sensor chip to deliver the correct amount of power to the Switch. And if you use an off-brand USB-C uh, power supply, you may damage the, the Nintendo Switch permanently and it won't turn on. That seemed to be an issue last year with it. So we're going to try the motherboard out and hopefully that doesn't happen. I will definitely test it and I will definitely let you know, or I won't post this video, of course, if it does damage the Switch, which is why I have that secondhand Switch. It's my test Switch. Anywho, so we also get the USB-C connector on the um, switch dock in the box as well. And this will just go into the ZIF slot on the, the back of the motherboard, which is right here. So this will just slide right into the motherboard like that. And we will be good to go and you can dock the switch. It also comes with the LED that activates when you dock the switch and you can feel free to put this in. I don't think there's any room to put it in the bass top um, shell that we got on Amazon. But uh, if you feel like putting it in a different shell that has the ability to mount the LED, the option is there, of course. So we also have the bass top uh, shell that I mentioned earlier. This is pretty much all you get on Amazon. It does come with some screws and screwdrivers, of course, but uh, I'll just be shoving those off to the side for now. So we'll be assembling the switch dock inside of this guy here, and we are going to start doing that now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the motherboard here and I'm going to slot in the USB-C um, cable and its port here into the motherboard. So the pins, the gold pins need to be facing down on this motherboard when you have it looking like this. And this black latch here needs to be wide open so you can slide in the cable into the zip slot, that's called. So you slide it in there, make sure it's all the way in and then you press down on the latch to lock the cable into place so it doesn't go anywhere. We're just going to make sure that we got even pressure on the lock here and there we go tight we're ready to go and what we're going to do now is we're going to put the motherboard into the shell here like so we can find the mounting port there we point there we go perfect so we have the screw hole cutouts here and we also have a plastic pole on the top here that will slot into another hole on the motherboard and this will know that we have all the screws lined up and then we can start screwing in the motherboard of the switch but uh, what we also need to be wary of is that this cable can reach to the USB-C cutout and it looks like it can. Looks like we've run into a bit of a problem actually with the Bass Top 1 with this motherboard is that if we have a, a close look right here, I don't know if you can see it, let's see if my camera will focus, all right, there we go. Um, I tried to put the USB-C through the hole cutout that uh, Bass Top made for the USB-C and it seems to be not big enough for the USB-C connector to actually go through. So I'm going to have to grab a piece of sandpaper or a Dremel here and I'm going to have to um, uh, sand this down to make sure that it can fit. So I'll be right back and we'll get that done. Okay, so we have everything on the bass top and the motherboard screwed in here. So if we just take a look, closer little peek at the PCB of the dock, 
So I had to sand the USB-C port for about two minutes or so with uh, 120 grit sandpaper, which is right here. Uh, it worked out really well. It actually now perfectly slots into that hole. I guess it was just a little bit miscut or this USB-C port is a little bit bigger than uh, normal because it's an off-brand motherboard. But everything's uh, screwed in there. I also screwed in the PCB of the dock to the bass top shell as well. The top two need to remain on unlocked. There we go. Everything is, wasn't quite slotted in perfectly there. Uh, but these two need to be uh, unscrewed so you can get the back of plate of the bass top because if you put it on, this, these two holes here go through the PCB into the top piece. So you need to leave those two out. They do give you two spare screws, the smaller one for the USB-C port and another big one for the PCB, which is nice because they are a very small screw and they very, uh, they're very easy to lose. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to hook up the LED on the um, motherboard here just so I know that we're getting connectivity with the uh, dock motherboard and the switch just so I know that it's making a connection. So if it lights up green, we should be good to go there. So I'm going to quickly wire this guy up here, which the port for the LED is right here by the vent of the new dock shell. And then we're gonna test out the switch on the TV and hopefully we get a nice working dock here. So. Okay, so we do have the mini switch dock that we made all ready to go. And I have the USB-C adapter plugged into a power bar, the official one from Nintendo. So we're gonna quickly plug that in to the uh, mini switch dock that we made. So there we go. And it does look like this LED is gonna be on all the time. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but this green LED seems to be on all the time instead of, you know, when you dock the switch, it activates like the original. But uh, I guess that's okay. So if you don't like the LED being on all the time, I recommend just unplugging it and leaving it out, which is no problem. The dock will function just the same without it. So we're gonna take the HDMI and we're gonna plug it into the uh, dock here. And all the ports line up and everything, which is nice. It doesn't look like I'm colliding with any more ports like the USB-C that I had to sand. So I'm going to grab the uh, off-brand switch that I have here, right here. So it's working and we're going to dock it and hopefully everything is A-OK -okay with the brand new mini switch dock that we made. So we're going to uh, give it a go here. And it looks like it's a little bit harder to dock because of the, the size. So there we go. So we have it. See if uh, we got connection here. We got connection here. We got a display up. Okay, it did flicker once. But everything looks like it is, it is good to go for the mini switch dock. So this little mini guy actually works quite well and uh, everything seems to be okay. So we're gonna leave it in for a few minutes. I'm gonna test it out, see if everything works A-OK, -okay, all good. It looks like it's gonna work, but we have a working mini switch dock for a lot cheaper than what Nintendo wants for their official switch dock. So guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video on the mini switch dock. Uh, if you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, please let me know in the comment section below. I'll be happy to answer them for you guys. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll leave the links to everything down below in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. My name's Ken Alston, known as Wiltshire, and I'll see you guys, of course, in the next video. Take care, guys.